uh, free speech does not apply through this door. What would you cite me for then? I'm just out, out of curiosity, like uh, for filming. But you cannot film inside the lobby. Now we're at Pennsylvania State Police, Police Troop N. We're going to go in, we're going to see about getting an incident report for the DMV. Hello, I'm just uh, here. I want to try to see if I can get an incident report uh, for an incident that happened at the DMV, Hazleton DMV. Okay. Uh, how would I go about doing that? Is there a form or? All right, well, can I at least get the number then? That way I can. Okay, thank you. Okay, PA. 23-568677. All right, thank you, sir. All right, bye. Okay, so now we got the incident report number right there. Now we have to go, I guess. Subpoena the uh, commissioner of police, the state police commissioner. Currently, we do that on the website. That wraps it up for today here. Catch us next time. Okay, I think it's written down there on what it is. We have Sergeant Van Buren. He was from the DMV. Um, is he going to get a copy of the thing? Yes, he's going to go see if he can find that for right. you. Sure. Uh, yeah. It's written there. Right here. Is it right right there? Let's, let's go check it out. Yeah, let's check it out. Well, I mean, that's that's the warning not to come in recording. Oh, it doesn't have the case all written down? I'll get the case okay. That's the warning yeah. not to come in with it. All right. Yeah, it's, uh, I'll get a copy of that, too. Yeah. So, there's the sign that says, basically, we're prohibited from filming in there. Oh, so there's I, an AR code up there. So what's that code? AR3-4. That, that's dash one four. of our... Uh, State police regulations. So, can I get a copy of that regulation? Since that's what's on the sign? No, we, we don't give out the our personal regs. You could you could try to subpoena a copy. Yeah, I'll have to do that. Please, Yes. Okay. Um, so, what, right. I just came out because I wanted to talk to you, just so you knew. Right. I appreciate it. Because this way, it, it's one again as we were talking. It's those gray areas, and there's so many things that are changing. Right. Um, and I'm all for. I'm not. I mean, I'm not. Rights. Willing, yeah, to, look, to let go of my First Amendment right. No, know, no. You know, hey, no matter how much it changes, you know. You know, it, it's one of those things. That, and I just, he, hopefully he finds that for us. We just gave out the, a copy that we had. Um, and like I said, it's Pennsylvania uh, case law that they came out with. Okay. So, uh, hopefully right. he gets that. I and, mean, Pennsylvania uh, case law still doesn't be Supreme Court case law. Well, see, that that's that area where we go back and forth with. So, okay. Um, Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, where we come down with that, perhaps in the future, you know, say you disagreed with that, okay. um, it, it could go all the way up. You know, I'm just saying, like, if, well, like, what would you cite me for then? I'm just out, out of curiosity, like, if for filming in there. When he comes out with that case law, yeah, uh, it'll have it all written on it. I don't, I don't know it offhand. And the, the prime, one of the primary reasons we do this, um, there's informants. Um, yeah. There's a lot of information where we don't want to harm or jeopardize other people. Well, right, but that's why you have back rooms and stuff that are sealed off. Yes, but there's people that come in and out frequently. Okay. So that's why this case law was established. You know, that's how it... All right, I mean, it just did. seems kind of arbitrary because, like, if I was trying to, I don't know, get somebody's identity or something, I would do it covertly, not with a camera. I, I understand. I mean, I'd wear glasses or a button or... Yeah.
Yep, I, I get you. Okay. I completely understand. I'm just trying to understand, so, you know. Yep. Because I just was at another barracks, and, I mean, they didn't say anything to me. I was at the one in Shikshini. Okay. And, I mean, that dude was real cordial. He came out, he helped me, you know what I mean? Never said anything about the camera. It, it's fairly new. Okay. Um, but when I saw you, I said, you know what, I'm, I want to go talk to him. Well, I appreciate it, yeah. Yeah. Just um, so we can get an understanding here, because, like absolutely. I said, it's, it seems oh, here. kind of weird. Are you able to find it? Yep. Sorry, what's your name? Okay. Yep. So, uh, Corporal Treban is here. It's the Corporal. Commonwealth of Pennsylvania versus Bradley. I'm trying to get okay. you And I'm trying to give you the piece of paper. Well, can I get your name? So, here it says uh, the Superior Court held that no filming condition right. imposed in the lobby of a police station is reasonable justification for a restraint on free speech. So, basically, uh, free speech does not apply through this door. Uh, free speech does not apply through this door. Isn't that open to the public? It is. Anybody from the public can walk in sensitive there? Sensitive material. You cannot film inside the lobby. That right there explains why. And you can be arrested for trespass if you do it again. So it's a trespass. It can be now that you've been notified. Defiant here's trespass. here's the whole All right, can you, uh, Pennsylvania Supreme you, Court. You can keep that. Yep, right, that's I, yours. I just wanted you to write me a trespass. No, 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 no. Next time, if you come in filming. All right, but if I have it on paper now, then it, it, there's nothing saying that, you know what I mean? Like, you, you, have, it, you have it on paper now. So if you come in the next right. time, okay. is what we're saying, so, then it would be a trespass. Okay. Yes. That's all. Right. All. all right. Sure. Alrighty, okay. thank you guys. Have a great day. Yes, Take sir, care. you too. And there you have it.